All right. Hey, Jack, what do we got? It's all just a jumble, but you never know what you're going to find. Alex Lagina arrives at the wash table to help Jack Begley continue searching through the remaining spoils recently excavated from the TF1 shaft. Have you found much pottery? No. We're finding less stuff on the table because the wash plants are operating very effectively. There's actually a lot of possibilities for finding something really good in TF1. So maybe if there is some sort of a treasure nearby, we can at least catch a piece of that and figure out what, what's causing the gold anomalies down in C1 once and for all. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow. It looks like parchment, but it, it's got something shiny on it. Yeah. Hey, do you see those silvery flecks? The parchment that I found with Hensky several years ago, it had that the same fibers kind of around the side. Yeah, that's interesting. There's that scrap of parchment or paper uh, with a VI on it. I mean, this could be related to that. It's possible. A possible piece of parchment found in the spoils of the TF1 caisson? In 1897, when treasure hunters Frederick Blair and William Chappell drilled into what they reported to be a seven-foot-tall wooden vault encased in concrete, they were astonished to recover gold shavings on their drill bit, as well as a piece of parchment bearing the letters VI. Oh, look at that. Is that concrete? Yeah. One week ago, the team found bits of concrete in the TF1 spoils as well. Is it possible that they have discovered two pieces of evidence connected to the fabled chapel vault? If so, could that mean that they are now on course to recover the rest of the vault's contents within the EC1 shaft? Just the color of it and the inconsistency. I, I'm really, I agree with you. The inconsistency of it is very interesting. I don't know. I mean, I'm encouraged either way. If it's paper or if it's parchment, they're both datable. And it might be an indication that we're, we're close to the real money pit or somewhere within the, the collapsed debris zone. The odd thing about this possible piece of parchment is that on one side, it's shiny. It's got bits of what looked to me like silver. In like medieval times, they'd take gold and silver leaf and apply it to parchment as a sort of accent, especially if the documents were uh, worthwhile. Alex, Jack. Hey, guys. We're checking on the wash table. Well, you came at a good time. Guess what we think this is. Here, take a look at it. This is from TF1. Is it parchment? I'm not sure. Jack and I have both looked at it. We can't tell if it's parchment or paper or what it is. And I think if it's not parchment, it looks like an early type of paper. This is definitely worth testing. Yes. If it dates to the early 1600s, then we got something. It can't have been easy to pull that out of it. <laughs> I don't know how he saw it. It's amazing. Good find. Excellent. Thanks. We'll keep looking. We'll let you know.